Greek celestial god Uranus, the planet was discovered in 1781 by the astronomer William Herschel. The seventh planet was known as George from 1781 to 1850 and was not renamed Uranus until 1850. Uranus was the first planet that scientists could locate with a telescope. Herschel and his colleagues first looked at what is now the seventh planet of the Sun as a comet or a star. The blue-green ice giant has confronted science with many puzzles. The distance to its home star is so great that a complete orbit takes 84 Earth years. Because of the enormous distance, astronomers find it very difficult to observe and study Uranus. The Voyager missions were enormously important for the raw data. We leave Earth, the only home we know, to go to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. If you would like to join us on our journey, please support us with a thumbs up. Subscribe to Simply Space and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. unusual axis of rotation, and seasons of 21 Earth years. This planet has a mind of its own. Like Venus, Uranus rotates in the opposite direction to the Earth, from east to west. While a day on Earth lasts 24 hours, a day on Uranus is much shorter. One day on Uranus lasts only 17 hours and 14 minutes. The seventh planet of the Sun seems to turn on its side, it resembles a marble slab rolling across the ground. The reason for this is the specially inclined axis of rotation. This has an angle that is almost parallel to the orbital plane. Scientists attribute this anomaly of the axis of rotation to a gigantic collision between a celestial body and Uranus. Because Uranus has an unorthodox rotation, the seasons on the seventh planet of the Sun last 21 Earth years. The variations in the amount of sunlight in the different seasons and regions during the Iranian year are enormous. The Ring System of Uranus In 1986, the space probe Voyager 2 came 81,500 kilometers close to the upper cloud banks of Uranus and transmitted enormous amounts of data about the icy giant. During this historic NASA mission, several thousand photos of Uranus, including its rings and moons, were taken. The scientific instruments inside the probe discovered two previously unknown rings. Thus, Uranus is now known to have a total of 13 rings. The rings contain deposits ranging from tiny particles and dust size to solid objects such as small boulders. The two outer rings are colored, while the 11 inner rings are less colored. The inner rings were first discovered in 1977 while the Hubble Space Telescope first detected the two outer rings in 2003. Of the 13 rings, nine rings were discovered by chance in 1977 when astronomers observed a star. As that star passed the planet, these nine rings were revealed. The unusual thing about the ring system of Uranus is that two different ring systems exist. Strange Weather Conditions Curious weather conditions prevail on Uranus. While on Earth we perceive rain as liquid, on Uranus it rains massive diamonds. Scientists have used the brightest X-ray source on Earth to provide evidence. The LINAC coherent light source was connected to a free electron X-ray laser to monitor processes even at the atomic level. Astronomers and scientists observed how tiny diamonds were formed which were conducted through a special plastic as shock waves. This gave the researchers an insight into the processes that took place in the planetary atmosphere, but on a much larger scale. This plastic material is composed of hydrogen and carbon. Both elements are abundant on Uranus. The focus of this experiment was to introduce the shock waves into the material. According to theory, methane is also involved which is composed of four hydrogen atoms and one carbon atom. In the atmosphere, hydrocarbon chains are formed, which are transformed into diamonds in the appropriate amount of pressure and heat is applied. This process takes place over 8,000 kilometers below the surface of Uranus. 
This is where the diamonds run out, and finally diamond rain forms. The small diamonds are scientifically called nanodiamonds. Researchers assume that this rain of nanodiamonds will even hit the planet Neptune. The coldest place in the solar system. Uranus is about 2.9 billion kilometers away from the sun. Given this enormous distance, it is not surprising that the minimum atmospheric daytime temperature is an icy minus 224 degrees Celsius. Uranus is one of the coldest places in our solar system. Another planet competing with Uranus for the title of the coldest place in the solar system is Neptune, which is on average 4.5 billion kilometers away. Neptune has temperatures of minus 214 degrees Celsius. Sometimes, but not always, Uranus is the coldest of all planets. Beautiful blue-green planet. In addition to the ice giant Neptune, this planet has an atmosphere in the outer region of our solar system that is extremely similar to that of Jupiter. This is because hydrogen mixes with helium, methane, ammonia, and water. The beautiful blue-green color is due to the mixture of this methane gas. As the red part of the sunlight is absorbed, the ice giant appears in a wonderful green-blue. About 80% of the mass of Uranus is held together in the liquid core. This core is largely composed of compounds such as methane, frozen water, ammonia, and other frozen elements. Possibly two moons. When Voyager 2 flew past Uranus in 1986, 10 new moons were discovered. According to planetary researchers of the University of Idaho, however, the probe missed several moons. When scientists looked through the data of Voyager 2, Two astronomers discovered that the Alpha and Beta ring had rippling. The planetary scientists recognized similar wave patterns created by two passing moons. These two moons hovered around the ice giant and are called Cordelia and Ophelia. Astronomers suspect that the rings surrounding Uranus were formed due to the gravity of these bodies. These moons are said to have a small diameter of 4 to almost 14 kilometers. Since these celestial bodies are very small, Voyager's camera could either only record them as background noise, or they were not seen at all. According to recent discoveries, the ring and moon system of Uranus is both young and dynamic. Mysterious Magnetic Field The magnetic poles of Uranus are not aligned with the geographic poles. This aspect is mysterious because the Earth's magnetic field is tilted by only 11 degrees and has a bar magnet. The Earth's magnetic field has both north and south poles. In contrast, the magnetic field of Uranus is tilted by about 59 degrees and shifted in such a way that the magnetic field does not pass through the center of Uranus. Compared to the Earth, Uranus has a much more complex magnetic field. This is not only composed of a dipole component, but also of another part with a total of four magnetic poles. Given the different magnetic poles and the enormous inclination of Uranus, it is not surprising that the magnetic field varies greatly in different places. In the southern hemisphere, Uranus has a magnetic field whose strength is only one-third of the Earth's magnetic field. In contrast, the northern hemisphere of Uranus has a magnetic field almost four times stronger than that of the Earth. For a long time, researchers assumed that the magnetic field of Uranus is determined by a salty, large body of water. They believed that Uranus's 98-degree inclined synaxis and 59-degree inclined magnetic field would provide the ice giant with an enormous magnetosphere. However, this assumption turned out to be wrong. Recent studies show that the magnetosphere of Uranus is no different from other planets, but the reason for this is not known. Astronomers confirm that there are auroras on Uranus which resemble the southern and northern lights on Earth. Uranus stinks. According to a recent study, the ice giant stinks. The reason for the smell of rotten eggs are the clouds in the upper atmosphere, which are largely composed of hydrogen sulfide. When Voyager flew past Uranus in 1986, the distance was so great that detailed observation proved to be extremely difficult. 
Researchers stationed in Hawaii use the near-infrared integral field spectrometer to study the sunlight reflected above the Uranus clouds. Scientists discovered his signature for hydrogen sulfide since only a tiny portion of it remained above the clouds in the form of saturated steam. Scientists suggest that the clouds of Uranus are similar to the clouds of Neptune. However, the clouds are different from those of Jupiter and Saturn. Storms On the third largest planet in our solar system, extreme storms prevail. The ice giant is 19 times as far away from the Sun as the Earth and therefore has considerably less solar energy available. The violent storms on Uranus encounter less resistance and they can reach wind speeds of up to 900 kilometers per hour. Astronomers confirm that no other storm was as bright as the one witnessed on Uranus. The storms were measured with infrared technology at a wavelength of 2.2 micrometers and the clouds of the uppermost tropospheric layer of Uranus could be imaged. In this layer, the pressure is less than 50% of the atmospheric pressure prevailing on Earth. Lightest Gas Giant The mass of the seventh planet is 14.5 times greater than that of Earth. Consequently, Uranus is the lightest gas planet. If you know of any other interesting and curious facts about Uranus, we ask you to share them with us in the comments field. We are looking forward to your opinion and invite you to write your thoughts and knowledge about the planet Uranus in the comments.